Gentleman yields back, Chair, recognize Mr. Moskowitz from Florida. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, and gentlemen, thank you for appearing today. Uh, thank you for being a public servant. A and there should be no retaliation against you as whistleblowers. Unlike my colleagues that said nothing and supported President Trump when he retaliated and fired Vindman uh, and escorted him from the building for appearing in an investigation. That shouldn't happen to you. But of course, they said nothing when it happened to other people. We heard a lot about the Bidens, the Bidens, the Biden family, Biden associates, right? Bidens, plural, the S, what does the apostrophe mean? But not Joe Biden. Didn't hear a lot about Joe Biden. Why? Because he didn't do anything. This has nothing to do with him. You know, my colleagues talked about foreign countries, you know, foreign entities trying to make it all scary for the American people. Of course, President Trump got $5.4 million from the Chinese while he was president because they were leasing space in Trump Tower. He goes out and air kisses President Xi, totally perfect. Jared Kushner gets $2 billion from the Saudis, even though he oversaw Mideast peace, totally kosher. Ivanka Trump, you know, she's doing business with the Chinese while she's working in the White House, totally beautiful, right? Why do I bring that up? They want to say you have credibility. The problem is they have none. They have no credibility. And because you're here at their behest, their lack of their credibility questions your credibility. Not because of you personally, but because of what they've done over the last several years. So the chairman says you're credible. You want to know actually what they feel about you? People like you who work in government. I got pages of it. It goes on for years, but you know what? I'll just read a couple of adjectives. Trump has called people like you so-called whistleblowers, fake whistleblowers, partisan people, political hack jobs, scams, frauds, traitors, cowards, spies, losers, clowns, thugs, puppets, unelected bureaucrats, the swamp, and my favorite, the deep state. By the way, you members of the deep state? You members of the deep state? Did you stop paying? It's a rhetorical question. It, <laughs> Did you stop paying your deep state dues? You did not attend the latest deep state meeting? Is that why you're, you're not in the deep state? I can't tell when they want people like yourself to be in the deep state, not in the deep state, depending upon what the deep state is saying. Again, it undermines their credibility. It undermines government. It undermines the Americans' trust in government. It undermines our institutions. And throughout all of this, for years, four years of it, they said nothing. And now, it, you know, in an effort to own Hunter Biden, okay, they're assembling nude photos of him, right? Having some intern have to sit in a room and blow up these photos and put it on poster board and figure out, oh, which ones are beyond the pale. Mr. Shapley, you, you said that the DOJ was slowing down the investigation. Uh, but some of that happened when President Trump was president, and, and I found it strange that when my colleague tried to ask both of you these questions about when your perceived slowness of this happened, you all struggled for a period of time to admit that it started under President Trump. Was President Trump directing that DOJ to slow down the investigation? I, he wasn't, just like President Biden isn't now. So if there's any perceived issues with DOJ, it's with DOJ, it's not with the president. Mr. Ziegler, you said no one's above the law regardless of political affiliation. Do you think the president's son-in-law, not as an IRS agent, as a person, do you think the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, who worked in the White House, couldn't get security clearance until the president made it happen, was put in charge of Mideast peace, and with no investment experience, got $2 billion from the Saudis? You guys made a lot of noise today about $17 million, but what about $2 billion? Do you think, as a person, that should be looked at? Sounds a little strange. Congressman, thank you for that question. Given the statute, I am limited to my testimony. I understand. Today. I got it. But think about it. Two billion dollars from a foreign country that he was put in charge of their policy while he worked in the White House. They got no questions about that. That's totally great, totally wonderful, right? You know, Joe Biden has been in Washington for almost 50 years. We didn't hear about Hunter and just until like a couple of years ago. Why? Because it's, it's a pay attention, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain, like the Wizard of Oz. 
right? Donald Trump is in so much trouble, and they can't save him. But what they can do is they can spend taxpayer money and all the time while they control these hearings to convince the American people that somehow Joe Biden has done something wrong, but there's no evidence. None, zero, zilch, not a zippo. And you know how I know that? Because they couldn't even bring up their own impeachment. They had to bury it in committee on immigration, not on this topic, right? There are members of this committee that filed articles of impeachment, didn't bring it up for a vote, buried it in committee. Again, not on this topic, because there's no evidence on Joe Biden. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Chair recognizes Ms. Bobert from Colorado. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you.